Hi friends, this is our first video in which we will actually be using Isaac Sim. This simulator is great for robotic applications and it is developed by NVIDIA. Now, in today's video, we will talk about main three things. In the first step, we will add ground in the scene. In second step, we will add some trivial shapes where if you start and learn about these trivial shapes like sphere, cone, capsule, etc. Then you can make your own robots in Isaac Sim. And finally, we will look at the gravity part of it where we will add physics to objects and we will see them moving. So let's get started. So first of all, let's create ground. So we will have to go to create. We will go to physics and ground plane. So this shows that we have a ground plane here. If you define rigid objects, they will come and they will stop at ground level. So let's add our first object. So we'll go to create. We'll go to shapes and let's add a cone. So you see here we have a cone at 0, 0, 0. So now, of course, this cone is useless. So we have to mainly do three things with a new object. You will either have to move it. So we'll do translation. So you can see I can move it in X. This will be my X. This will be my Y direction and this will be my Z direction. I can also move it in planes. So if I want to move the object in different planes, this is how I can move the object. And if you notice, you can also make these changes where if you are translating, you can translate here as well. So I can just click here and drag so that I can change X direction, Y direction, Z direction. And Isaac has done a great job in giving us a keyboard shortcut where if I'm here and if I press W, it shows the translation menu. Similarly, if I press E, it will give me rotation menu. Rotation menu, you can also get it from here. So if you click here, the object can rotate in roll, pitch and yaw. Similarly, you can change orientation here. So if I make it 0, 0 and 90, for example. So the cone is straight and this is how it is oriented. And finally, the third thing is scaling. So either I can press R. So I can see the scaling in all the directions. So I can see I can make the cone fatter or longer. I can do the same with the scale here where I can move it. Let's keep it two. So I can move the I can change the scale in all three axes. And similarly, this is the button to change the scale. So this was all about one object. So after learning this, let's quickly add one more object. So if I go to create, now we are pros here, we go to shape. And for example, this time we add a cube. And if I want to move, I'll click on this and I can move the cube. So now we need to notice one thing here is in simulators, you will have some objects where they are independent. So they move independent to each other. But you will also have scenarios where you will have to create multiple objects and they all should move together. Classic example can be robot where you have a body and multiple wheels in the robot, but you don't want wheels to individually move away from the body. We of course needed to rotate about an axis, but we don't need any translation relative to the body. This is a very important feature. I go to X form. So this is how we can have a fixed translation between cube and a cone. Now what I can do is I can add my cube in this X form. So I drag it and drop it in X form. Oops. Yeah. My cube became child of X form. 
and now finally i can have my x farm become child of my cone so this means oops my cube moved this means i can move the cube independently because that is child so let me move cube near to the cone yep but if i move cone my cube will also move with the cone you can see it here so this shows there is a parent child relationship between cone and a cube this concept is important so let's add one more shape so that you have practice of adding an x form so we'll do we'll add x form we'll add a shape capsule so we added a small capsule this is currently independent of cone but i would like to add capsule in my x form so yep now x form has become parent of capsule and i can add this x form in the cone so now you see cone has two childs cube and capsule let's see if it works so now you see i'm selecting the cone and you see all three objects are moving together you can see that okay so this was all about how to create a parent child relationship between different objects and you can also see that in the tree here uh, but we would also like to explore the physics so currently if i run the simulator if i click play button nothing is going to happen so you see everything is in their own location because we have not defined physics yet so what we can do is we can select the cone i can go to add and i can add physics rigid body so now you see everything started moving down because cone is moving because of physics and these two are child to cone so as cone moves these two will also move so now we saw here that we can add physics this is your first day and you are already rocking where you can add physics so now let's say if you are designing a robot for moon or mars where your gravity is not same currently we have no hold of how fast or slow the cone should go down so let's pause it for now so in order for us to add gravity we go to create we go to physics and we do physics scene what this means is i have a handle on changing the gravity changing the axis of gravity so now let's have fun so this is going down if i increase the gravity by like let's say 100 so you see things start moving faster let me keep it here and what if i want to add gravity in different axis so if i go to physics if i hit play and if i add gravity in different axis you see let's make it 10 yeah so you see i can add gravity in any axis and fun fact is it's not just about one direction we can also have things flying so if i hit play see we just did a magic of elevating things so this is how we define ground plane we make a scene and we add different objects finally let's go and save this so we go to file save as and here we can define our first scene it will by default save it in dot usd format this has nothing to do with dollar save so we saved the scene so if i go to file if i go to new we have an empty scene and whenever you want to open your scene you go to open and we'll open our first scene open file you see our scene is right here that was all for today's video if you like the video do share and comment thank you